My name is David Comichon. I am a citizen of Barbados, but very much a citizen of the entire Caribbean, of our Caribbean civilization. And the statement that I am about to deliver, even though it was composed by me, symbolically, I think it's a statement of the entire Caribbean region, the Caribbean people, because I think it reflects the deeply held views of the vast majority of Caribbean people in relation to the concept of Black Lives Matter and the protests that are taking place in the United States and all around the world. So consider this to be our Caribbean people's declaration of solidarity with the Black Lives Matter protests. The peculiar race-based history of our Western Hemisphere has bequeathed to all of the nations and people of our Hemisphere the central mission of eradicating anti-Black racism and developing societies in which the worth and dignity of the Black person is upheld and respected. Uh, the people of the Caribbean, of the whole region of the uh, Americas, therefore, we should recognize that the struggle against anti-Black racism is an interrelated struggle. Thus, um, we in the Caribbean are as invested in the USA component of that struggle, the Brazilian, the Colombian, the Canadian um, component of that struggle, as all of these countries and others are invested in our Caribbean component of the struggle. Thus, whenever we witness or become aware of even isolated or random acts of anti-Black racism, um, you know, we, we, we cringe and we recoil in anguish uh, because we know that failure to uphold the, the dignity and worth of the African person in any one nation of our hemisphere imperils the entire hemispheric um, mission. And much more so is the case when what we witness are not just random or isolated acts of anti-Black racism, but acts which suggest the continued existence of systemic, institutionalized anti-Black racism. And it is against this background that we Caribbean people wish to, wish to say loudly and plainly um, that we felt profound revulsion when we witnessed the televised images of the heartless, callous, brutal, totally unjustified killing of the African-American George Floyd by a white police officer in the city of Minneapolis in the United States of America. And we suspect and fear that that killing, not, not being an isolated killing, but being one of a sequence of several killings of unarmed black or African-Americans by white police officers, that that is symptomatic of the continued existence of system, systemic institutionalized anti-black racism. We therefore wish to take this opportunity to urge the government and people of the United States of America to redouble their efforts to confront and overcome this terrible social evil. I know that I speak for all right-thinking Caribbean people when I say that we wish to express our profound sympathy to the immediate family of the late um, George Floyd, to his extended African-American family, and indeed to all citizens of the United States, irrespective of race, who have been deeply hurt by this 
tragedy. Um, we also wish to let the government and people of the United States know that we are here, we are willing to help in any way that we can. Our own region has also had to confront um, that heritage of anti-black anti racism, systemic anti-black racism. Um, we, we have tackled it and we, and it, it is fair to say that we have had some success in dealing with it. And there's many organizations in the Caribbean region that would be only too willing to share the insights that they have gained from our struggle with the authorities of the United States of America. So solidarity with the principle that Black Lives Matter, solidarity with the protests and demonstrations that are going on, not only in the United States, but all across the world.